Hi guys, this is me again, Zonski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to show or tell you on how you can take care of your succulent plants, especially if you can see mealies or bugs. So I'm going to do the sample using my two black prints here at home. So here are the things that you need. You need pumice. Your pot. And here are the samples of what I repotted during my last upload. My Adolfi. And my ghost plant. So here is a sample of a black prince plant that I removed from its nursery pot last week. And here is a sample of a black prince plant that I will remove from its nursery pot today. And remember guys, you will only do this process only if you see little white bugs, millies running around on your plants. And we also tried zooming the video just so we can show you guys how with this white box mills looks like.
Now we're going to show you how are we going to repot this uh, black prince plant. Place first, uh, we place the pumice on the uh, pot. So we have to make sure that this pumice will be enough to cover your rots, actually roots, sorry. Alright. Okay, that must be enough already. And then next, All right now so now we will go ahead and uh, thoroughly and slowly uh, enter the pumice rocks in until it covers the roots and make sure that your plant will have enough space to breathe Okay, we're almost done. And uh, it's already finished. I think this one is already good to go. Please make sure that it will take 4 to 7 days before you water 5 ml to 10 ml only. Okay, next I'm going to show you what I did to my... Uh, planted succulent the first one before i place it into the pot so although it's not shown in the video i make sure that the roots are properly cleansed i use a toothbrush to be exact so i brushed off the roots so we can remove any residue or any unnecessary residue from the soil 
So after you brushed off your the uh, succulent roots along with the running water, make sure that you get a towel. It should be dry. It should be enough so that you can dry off the roots before you start putting the diatomaceous earth. By the way, this one is the diatomaceous earth. This is used to fight against fungi and unnecessarily bugs towards her plant's uh, roots. So once you're done drying off your roots using a towel, you can now place at least two hip of a tablespoon of a diatomaceous earth. Make sure it was spread thoroughly and properly so that it can kill any residue or any possible left eggs of mealies or any bugs unnecessarily on your roots plant. now it is finished that's it for today guys thank you so much again for watching my youtube channel please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always updated with all my video uploads thank you